and welcome to my new video. Now today we will discuss little bit further from the solution of system of linear equation. Before these videos you can see how to solve the system of linear equation with the help of direct method. Now we go for two indirect methods or we can say iteration method for the system of linear equation or we can say indirect method for this same like previous how we solve the uh, equations with the iterations iteration means we have to repeat the process with taking some initial values so here approx the initial value first we have been in the beginning we can consider some approximation initial value and then repeat the process to find actual value so first we have to initial value approximate we should take substitute then whatever the new value we can use that as the initial value and repeat the process then we will get at up to the end of the result or we can say we can find the result but for this iteration method always you should consider it for calculation calculation should be accurate at one place if you miss something your calculation your whole question will be spoiled so you should be accurate regarding your calculation or you should operate your calculator very carefully so there are two methods one is jacobi method second is gauss sider method so first I go with Jacobi method. So in this video, we learn about Jacobi method. So how to solve system of linear equation with the help of Jacobi method. Let's see with one example. It's very simple. Just iteration will be take place. The question is find the next five iteration for 5x minus y plus z equal to this 2x plus 8y minus z equal to and this is the third equation where the initial values are x0, y0 and z0 is 0, 0, 0. Solve with Jacobi method. Clear? So step 1 when we start the solution we have to find the values regarding terms of x, y, z. So using equation 1 using equation 1 we should find the value of x so 5x equal to 10 plus y minus z and 5 divided by here clear so next using equation 2 with equation 2 we should find the value of y so our y is equal to 11 plus z this goes in this side minus 2x divide by 8. Next, my third equation. This is the first, second and third using equation third. With third equation, we should find the value of our z. So, z is equal to 3 plus x minus y divide by 4. We should say this is a this is B and this is the value is C. This is the first step how to start the Jacobi method for iteration. So whatever the equation from first you should take the value of x, from second you should take the value of y, from third you should take the value of z. It's not necessary that only first give if order of equation change this will write in the first place this will write in it's okay means one equation using for x second equation using for y and another equation using all three equation we should use so from this now we start the iteration first initial value are x0 is equal to 0 y0 is equal to 0 z0 so from this here we put y is y0 and z0. So our x1 first iteration will be 10 by 5 is 2. Similarly here y and z and x should be 0. So y1 is 11 by 8. Here in z x and y should be 0. So z is 3 by 4. Clear? So I should write here. Now we start the, our first iteration. For first iteration we should use the initial value x0 is equal to 0, y0 is equal to 0, z0 equal to 0. So for x1 our formula is 10 
plus y0 minus z0 by 5. So put 0, it will give 2. For y1, f11 plus z0 minus 2 f0 by 8. Substitute the value. First y1 is coming. Then for z1, 3 plus x0 minus y0 by 5. the value point. 0, 7, 5. Now our new set of values is x1, y1, z1 which we use in the second iteration. So second iteration x2 is given by x2 is 10 plus y1 minus z1 by 5. So this gives with substituting the value after that for y2 11 plus z1 minus 2x1 by a pair substitution. And z2 is 3 plus x1 minus y1 by 4. Then we will get the second iteration upon our new method, new our new values for x2, y2 and z2. Next we go for third iteration and similar process we have to repeat. We will get the value. I will. Similarly, with similar process, we go for the further iteration. For further iteration, our third iteration, for third iteration, we should use the values for x, y, z is x2, y2, z2. Substitute here y2 minus z2, here x and y, here x and y, here x and z. When we substitute these values, we will get the new iteration value x3, y3, z3. This set of iteration value we use for calculation of fourth iteration these value we should use for the calculation of fifth iteration then after fifth iteration we should conclude this values converts to x equal to 2 y equal to 1 and z equal to 1 see 1.97 when we round up it will be goes to it will goes 1 it will goes 1 so our solution of even system of equation gives y x equal to 2 y equal to 1 and z equal to 1 that is the jacobi method jacobi method is very simple first whatever the three equation given you use with those method uh, your equation and find the value of respectively x y and z using all three after that using initial value finding the first iteration whatever the value of x1 y1 z1 is coming these x1 y1 z1 used for second equation iteration for x2 y2 z2 when it will come these values using for third these values regarding we have to go further when we will get at the end of we will get the approximate values of our given linear system of equation. That's all for Jacobi method. Thank you very much.